The Chaser Report is recorded on Gadigal land. Striving for mediocrity in a world of excellence, this is The Chaser Report. Hello and welcome to The Chaser Report with Dom and Charles. Hello Charles. What say we look back on the roller coaster ride that was 2023 with the traditional slash lazy year in review episode? Yes, that's right. And we're going to break it into two episodes. So today we're going to do January to June. Because it's been a very, very big year. And then we'll do the really depressing July to December part of tomorrow. So if you're wanting to leave the year in a high, probably just listen to this episode and not tomorrow. Not episode. the one that covers the period of, I don't yeah. know, the voice. Yeah, the voice and Gaza. And, oh, yeah. yeah. Like everything. Like, yeah, and, and everything. Yeah, yeah, and just the general disappointment that Anthony Albanese has. Be- you know, like just that sort of general malaise where it's like it, all the Hang on, don't don't have the <laughs> – don't bring the tomorrow's depression today, Charles. Let's put it off. It all begins after this. Okay, so the year started, I reckon it was one of the best starts to the year ever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like certainly you've got to go back to before 2015. Remember 2015 was the year when a whole lot of celebrities died and we thought, oh, this is the worst year ever. that's right. Well, that was the year I got married, so personally that wasn't a bad year. (laughs) But but admittedly for those who died, not a highlight. But it was like David Bowie or someone died and then suddenly it was like, okay, this is the worst. Oh, yeah, and Prince and yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was was pretty bad. A lot of deaths. And then, and then. 2016 was Trump, you know, like, and then it just, then pandemic. And Brexit. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was during but, my honeymoon. But so 2023 mm-hmm. started with George Pell dying. So it was like off to a good start. It was like, actually, we've turned the corner here. We've got George Pell dead. And you went to the funeral, if I recall. Well, actually, I... Um, well, you're not actually, were you there well, like, I, beforehand? No, I was I was at the funeral, but they didn't let me in. Oh, I, you were you were near the funeral. Yeah. yeah. I was Carrying a coffin. A coffin of evidence to bury a long side. Pell, that's a, you know, Catholic tradition. The weirdest thing <laughs> is, is that as we sit here in the Chase Report studio, mm. about a metre from Charles's right shoulder is said coffin. Oh, yeah. There's... Still full of, bo- of boxes saying evidence. We... Why are you keeping it? We've failed to bury the evidence. Are you going to do that joke again? <laughs> Who's the next person you can do that for? Well, there's, you know, the Chaser has a long history of recycling jokes. Mm. So, you know, and Craig is into recycling. So... I can't think of anyone who's just launched a defamation suit who uh, <laughs> those boxes marked evidence. Oh. Oh. Might be able to be used for. Yeah, but only if he dies. Oh, well, you never oh, know. Well, <laughs> okay. Yep. We'll keep the, those props. Might as well yeah. hang on to it. Am I a props hoarder? Is that what you're. It's getting suggesting? a little bit haughty in the yeah, studio. We'll, this we'll, is... we'll have to work on that. That's yeah. all right. We'll, we've got Over some time. Summer. Over yeah. summer. Yeah. This is our last week of content, by the yeah. way. Um, we've decided. It's where we're both just absolutely exhausted. So I think a break is in order. Yeah. But we'll do, we'll do weekly episodes in January and come back um, with a vengeance in Feb. So the podcast isn't ending. No. Sorry if you hoped it was. Yeah, that's right. And also, we've got a fantastic idea for a format which we're going to grow out of uh, the podcast. Yes, yeah, lots of good ideas coming yeah. in 2024. Okay, so then... Charles um, looks through the slides from his stage show, which also did a up. review of the year. Yeah, and there was a good joke, which admittedly James wrote, but I said in the show. That's okay, you're allowed to repurpose um, shovel material, yeah, who cares? Which is that there's this lovely symmetry in the Catholic tradition where you pay attention to things that don't exist and completely ignore things that do exist. I think that's a good... That was a nice observation, a good, yeah, I thought. Yeah, 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 yeah that's right. right. Turn a blind eye to the, the things that are actually happening and yet yeah. uh, focus on the mysterious and, and possibly not even there at all. And then Jacinda Ardern died. Uh, not died. Um, <laughs> resigned. This, this is the most definitive. In January? Was it really that long ago? She, yeah, she resigned in January. And it was sort of like, oh, okay, well, maybe everything. Because remember, she was completely on the nose. She was about to face re-election yes. later in the year. And for some reason, the rest of the world loved Jacinda Ardern. Yes, Stephen Colbert but, loved her, but she wasn't very popular but, back in New um, Zealanders. Well, uh, I think what she did was she got on elected on the promise of fixing housing affordability. Oh. And then didn't. I wonder who that sounds like. Ooh. Ooh. What ha- what's the New Zealand accent version of precedent? <laughs> yeah, okay. So Jacinda Ardern, wow, that's um I mean, but we'll always have the Colbert interview where she personally welcomed him to New Zealand and drove him around in the car as though that was actually something she genuinely had time to do on the regular. Is that what she did? She did. Yeah, she welcomed him at the airport. The best part about Jacinda Ardern was the night she got elected, somebody from Australia, one of the Australian journalists, rang up her office to mm. find out how to pronounce her name properly, and she answered the phone because she was in her <laughs> she office. She was only one of the 
office. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the and and presumably elected. picked up the phone and said, yeah. hello, Jacinda Ardern. Like, Thanks, that's all I <laughs> needed. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Right. Um, then we had that strange scandal uh, in January of Dominic Perrottet admitting that he dressed up as a Nazi. Oh, that's right. Trying to too. obviously get ahead of a story where there were photos and terribly incriminating photos. You're not going to remember who that is. That was the <laughs> oh, former yeah. Premier of New South Wales. Yes, he was this sort of person who, he, he it looked like a 14 year old. He looked like that Leo Puglisi guy who if, does Channel 6 News. If you if you looked in a sort of visual dictionary for young liberals, yes. mid, uh, kind of middle aged, yes. you'd find a picture of Dominic Perrottet. Or, or admittedly, you know, Hitler Youth. But the, <laughs> the picture would not have him in a Nazi. We never yeah. found the photo. No, I mean, no. It, now, this is the whole thing. It was the best scandal that never happened. But it's so embarrassing because you know how it's like, remember when Paul McClay, the, the Labor politician mm. in New South Wales, got up in Parliament and admitted to using porn, like visiting porn websites using the New South Wales government IT oh, yeah, system. That's right. And and it was assumed that that's because his internet searches were then going to come out. Yeah. And they never came out. And so he admitted so this whole... porn thing. Or, or, no, I think it was even worse than that. It was actually that he uh, he was not, like, it wasn't him that was being, like, that, you know, was the problem. It was oh, actually okay. some other person and he admitted it anyway. This was what happened with Dominic Paraday. He, he admitted to these photos existing of him dressing up as a Nazi. Like at his 21st. At his 21st. Which we have to remember was a uniform themed party. Yeah. So he'd, he'd constructed the entire yes, event yes. in order to wear the uniform. But Charles, you know. And, like, and you've got to also remember that Dominic Perrottet, when he became New South Wales Premier, was 22 years old. Like, <laughs> yeah. Or he certainly looked 22 looked years 20 old. Child, he he also had 22 kids. At you're that forgetting stage. a key detail about, about yeah. that story, though. Yeah. Which is that it wasn't embarrassing because he dressed up as Hitler. It was because oh. he dressed up as Prince Harry. Yeah. Ah, see what I did there? Yeah. I anyway, love it. Yep. All right. So that was that was January. Then we had uh, February when Titanic, the movie, turned 25. Yes. And so and Leo DiCaprio lost all interest in it immediately. <laughs> and uh, this set the scene for another event that would happen later in the year involving the Titanic. Yes. Uh, it's been a good year for the Titanic. It has been in the news quite a lot, yeah. um, both in terms of commemoration and also yeah. a fresh story, which we'll get to. A fresh story, which actually happened to be our most listened to episode of the year. It did. Yeah. It did. yeah we should probably republish that and well, Get some, squeeze some more juice out of the lemon. This is the one where Charles, ah, uh, we'll get to it. We'll uh, get to it. But I'm just hoping that there'll be more catastrophic collapses of submersibles. Very invo- good for numbers involving billionaires because that really drives our numbers. Ah, oh, people love love yeah, that. Yeah, that's good sh- sh- the Schadenfreude of submersible that yeah. was. Uh, then Roald Dahl books were censored. Remember oh, they did whole, that that whole palaver. That's right. Yeah, they they changed various words and uh, I can't remember. Maybe uh, whatever it was. There was sort of but they, what they didn't do was change all the anti-Semitic undertones in his books. So it was like they sort of, it was political correctness, not gone mad, it was just like gone wrong. Like they, well, then, then there was a the Ian Fleming one, and I, I've read a lot of those James Bond mm. books, and there are quite a few, like i got to say, there are a few little slurs that you could probably do without. Um, they take you out of the story. I mean, I'm just going, my position is occasionally if you just read a massively racist word, it goes, you kind of, it's a, it's it jarring. suspends the, de- the disbelief somewhat. But, but isn't that, uh, aren't you as a reader aware that there's a context and there's a time in which that was written? Well, maybe it's better. Maybe it's better to think, oh, yeah, Ian, Ian Fleming was pretty fucking racist. Yeah, maybe well, it's good to have it transparent. Yeah, it, it gives you an insight into how how far we've come as well. Like, I think if you sort of start changing text, you end up in this never-ending... Like, all right, well, then I of... dare you to re- republish all the Chase and no, Newspaper articles. No, 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 I'm not saying you republish them. I'm saying you let them be what they were and you choose to sort of quietly... Sort but, of Charles, just... you've been republishing the same jokes <laughs> we used to do forever Shut up. and changing the words to make it topical. Um, you, you know that on the Chase's internal WhatsApp group, um, there are complaints occasionally about... Out the overuse of certain types of gags. Don't remember when Chris sent around that? Yep. <laughs> but we we what was it for? It was um Oh, the idea that such an, you know, Mark Latham turns out to be a chaser stunt or, you know, like. That oh, yeah, of, yeah. There's been a lot of those ones. Yeah, there's. We, we've, we've, we don't do that anymore. But also, observation um, with ironic twist. I think that's about <laughs> 70% of the headlines these days. <sighs> anyway, so we have that discussion on the WhatsApp group rather than on the <laughs> podcast. 
Okay. Uh, then we had oh, we had the spy balloons being shot down. Remember Biden? That was great. L- Lachlan out. did a stunt on that, didn't he? Yes, that's right. Yeah, I was there. We, yeah, we um we went to the China. Well, I I don't think I ended up filming. No, you don't want to go anywhere near that part. No, Lachlan's the one who can't go to China now. But they what Cam and Lachlan did is they got a spy balloon and they tried to fly it over the, over Chinese, the Chinese embassy. embassy. Yeah, it was a genuine yeah. national security incident. Um, very very well yeah. done. Um, and then actually. I've noticed one of our top selling pieces of merch on the Chaser Shop is still the t shirt because he put on a t shirt which, which said, Not a spy. <laughs> and then he went around and he was acting suspiciously around the Chinese embassy. And that, that t shirt still lives on. Like we still get orders every day for that t shirt. Well, that's the thing. When you're not a spy, <laughs> well, you're not a spy every day. Well, that's I'm, what I found. I'm just, no, but I'm just thinking, do you think the spy community has latched into Absolutely, they have. Into they love the, it. And they've gone, Oh, this is a good T-shirt to wear because I'll be incognito. <laughs> I reckon that's exactly what they've done. Good stuff. A lot of orders coming out of Canberra. Our <laughs> metadata would be very useful. Um, oh, then in March, look, look, you, you look back and you go, what's happened this year? Labor, yeah. Labor won the New South Wales elections. They did, didn't they? Yes. Yeah, the wall-to-wall Labor on the mainland. And there was a, yeah. quite a nice joke in the stage show, actually, about how it was reported in The Australian. Yeah, which is the, you know, Tasmania, that, well, which it's is a visual blue, gag. was much larger than the mainland. It, yeah. You had to be there. Uh, <laughs> that was a great That will just tell you to book the tickets for next year. Yeah. So now wall to wall Labor, which means that basically um, we're in a socialist utopia where Labor's fixed everything. Um, yeah, this is as good as it gets. This is the dictatorship of the proletariat great. we're living in now. And yeah. as you can see, it's not like Peter Dutton is completely driving national policy mm. from opposition or anything like that. John had a, John Delmenico, the editor of The Chaser, had a good observation the other day, which is Palaszczuk resigning just the other day mm. means that we're literally in the era of nobody knows knowing the names of any yes, premier. that was the last premier that we knew, the last yeah. COVID-era premier. They've all fucked off. Yeah, so New South Wales is Chris Minns. What's the name? Jacinta, Jacinta Allen I, I is, is Look, Victoria. I should know. Stephen Miles is Queensland, friend of the show. He's been on the show, that's yeah. true. What we really want is we people get been Chris on the... on the show. We could probably get Chris. Who's Chris? Oh, Chris Minns. Minns. Yeah. Who's that again? Yeah, He's the New South Wales premier. Are you sure? It doesn't sound very likely. <laughs> Wasn't it someone called, with, called Dominic like me? <laughs> Uh, and then Perth, I wouldn't have a clue. No, no. but it doesn't matter. You don't need like, to know. Yeah, it doesn't. And uh, until they it, shut the state down again, South Australia doesn't matter either. And then, well, Tasmania. It's they a minority. Kept changing. It was to Jeremy yeah. Rockcliffe, wasn't it? Is it still? I don't know who it is. Oh, Tas- no. In Tassie. Yeah. Premiers, just email us podcast at chaser.com today if you want to come on the show and everyone can find out who you are. Yep. Um, then uh, we had Earth Hour. And, <laughs> really? Uh, yep. Is that still a thing? In March. And, Seriously? Uh, no, it was very different this year because we've got a federal Labor government. And so they paused all fossil fuel approvals to commemorate Earth Hour for 60 minutes. For 60 minutes, yeah. yeah. Big move. And it is still Jeremy Rockcliffe as Premier. I'm, I knew one. Oh, yeah. nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. See, don't, don't say, we've got to listen to comments this morning saying that our research was half assed. Yeah. Right. We're going to make it uh, three quarters asked next year. That's what we're going to do. That's the big change. And and I took offence at that. I said, at most it's quarter asked. <laughs> <Like, Yeah. laughs> There's a tiny bit of buttock mm. per- perching on the chair there. Yeah. Okay. Let's, okay. Ca- let's, let's, so let's, let's keep going. Let's keep going after this. The Chaser Report. News a few days after it happens. So, then we had uh, the cost of the AUKUS submarines was unveiled in March. Yes. And that was $368 billion. It's still hard to believe that that number is even possible to think of, let alone commit to spending. Well, you've got to remember, you know, they're getting, they're getting a good finance plan. From, oh, yeah. Uh, no, it's on the old interest From the rates. dealership. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's right. That's right. And, um, and they, they've spaced their payments out over uh, 3,600 months. Yeah, there's a balloon. Payment. Yeah. So unfortunately, it's a yeah. Chinese spy balloon. <laughs> spy balloon payment. Uh, but also, it's important to yeah. note that for that money, we're not just getting submarines. We're yeah. also getting the right to completely surrender our, our national sovereignty when it comes to defence. So it's Well, I think it's we a big have deal. to because the, the thing is that it's one of those dealership offers where you, you, you're locked into servicing it with the dealership. Yeah, that's right. Uh, including, and it's sort of almost like you have to buy all your petrol from the dealership. Yeah, because they give you the the, sub, the the nuclear core. And the nuclear core is a black box. You're not allowed to open it. Well, I don't. I want one of those for my car. Yeah. Like, I mean, for, as, as nice as electric cars are, nah, exactly. these things can run for decades uh, off the one nuclear uh, core. Why I aren't we just, using them in our cars? I Peter just, Dutton would. I just can't understand why we don't have, you know, millions of nuclear reactor vehicles 
vehicles I don't driving know why. around. It seems that <laughs> Peter Dutton will fix that if he gets in. And yeah, oh yeah. There'll be mini reactors and they'll be safe, I'm sure. Well, actually, it was around this time that uh, Dutton announced the his nuclear policy, which is they're going to build 71 nuclear power reactors to save the world from climate change. We've got to do an episode on this soon, actually, because yeah. he, he just reiterated this at... Um, uh, the climate summit, didn't they? The coalition. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's total co- they've, coalition. They've gone all in on nuclear, which Re- is actually quite brave of them to be Re- honest. Remember that they were unable to build a single commuter car park. Yes. And the swimming pool that they commissioned in North Sydney is now into, I think it's 11th year of reconstruction. But I'm sure they'll be able to whip up 71 nuclear reactors. For a technology that doesn't exist. Safely. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, anyway, it's uh, worth it's uh, worth discussing yeah. that in the new year. That We'll look at that in a bit of detail. Yeah, yeah. Well, we should get an expert on Let's keep going. Yeah. Let's keep going. Okay, sorry. Uh, okay, yeah, because this is... Uh, then we had... Um, oh, we had all those the new tax on super. Oh yes, which hits people who have over three million dollars in cash. This I'm was still a, still haven't gotten over it. I know mm. it's a huge slug. All my podcasting millions yeah. are just uh, the government's taking them. Uh, Hands off, Albo. Um, then we had the Nazis turning up to that um, anti-trans rally. Which, which one? There's so many Nazis turning up to it. You mean the ones in Victoria? Yeah. Which which one? Um, one listener has said we shouldn't call them anti-trans rallies because they were they're actually let women speak rallies or something. They're, they're, oh, it's the it's a. There were, I think feminist or, or sort of a certain type of feminist. I mean, nice to have J.K. Rowling really. in the country, though. But the problem is the gag that we made in the show was about it being an anti-trans rally because the neo-Nazi thought he was turning up to an anti-trans oh, rally. Oh, yes. Did you, yeah. get, did you get fact-checked? Which, did you? which wouldn't have worked, <laughs> wouldn't have worked if, no. if we'd actually called it by You could have had an anti-turf name, so. rally and um, had a joke about, about grass, but it wouldn't have been as good. Oh, yes. Yeah. But it wasn't. It was a pro-turf pro-turf. rally. Pro-turf. Oh, yeah. that's true. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. Um... Then War on 2024, you'll get that right. Jerry Springer died. Oh, which yes. Which caused absolute pandemonium in, in heaven <laughs> when he revealed that Jesus had two daddies. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, and, that, and that Mary claimed she was still a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't make yeah, it into the live show. Where no, it didn't, didn't make That's it into the live show. It was like a good. That. No, we we tried it in Gosford. It didn't work. Oh, uh, if no, Gosford gets to veto the show, of course it does. We had a lot of um, we had a lot of religious content in the first few shows. Oh, right, which okay. We scaled back. Yeah. Uh, the um, cost of medicine got halved. You know, and then the pharmacy guild had that. Oh world yes, class I now get, about it. And I get twice as many prescriptions for the same price. Yeah. Albo's done nothing for me. Yeah, it's a mug. <laughs> but also, what's he doing about the cost of living? And then the pharmacy guild tried to run this populist campaign, going, "You will pay half. How dare you? It'll be, you know, it will be it'll all cost elbows. you half the money. Elbows making you pay half, yeah. and and we'll run out of supply." They said, which yeah. has yet to happen. But other than that, yeah, good on you, pharmacists. Um, then we had uh, generative AI. Um, this robot had to outsource all his his uh, menial labour to a low paid human, <laughs> just so he could concentrate on his art. Hundred percent. Um, it was revealed that Peter Dutton uses ChatGPT to write all his speeches. Uh, is that what? Is that how it works? Just to that bring explains a, why they're so good. Yeah, to bring it's to bring a human touch. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. to his, yeah. Um, Rolf Harris died. See, it was a good there first some, half of the year. There were some interesting deaths. Yeah. Um, there, well, with coronation was in May. I think segueing from Rolf Harris directly to the royal family makes well, all kinds of sense. They were. He painted the Queen. It was a yeah. TV show where he painted the Queen. They were mates. Yeah, they were mates. He's they got were, a lot of, I mean, yeah. between, between Rolf and Andrew. Prince Andrew. Yeah, no. There's yeah. some questions to ask there. Well, the main question is why aren't we a fucking republic? <laughs> um, Stuart Robert, remember that, you know, My guy who, brother Stewie. who charged his internet bills to the. His, the yes, so strangely and high his... internet bills. Yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah, and it, who oversaw robo debt for a while. Mm. He resigned to spend yeah, more a lot time. Of people resigned with his family companies. With his family companies. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Um, and then, and then we had Pride Month in June. Um, where Sesame Street, because like, lots of corporates got into Pride they Month did. this year. It was good to see lots of rainbows around. Yep. Sesame Street got into the action by letting Bert and Ernie fuck. That got a good laugh in your stage got, yeah. The problem is I've already heard all the yeah. jokes in the stage and, show, but it was a good stage show. And then Bert was devastated when he discovered that Ernie had somebody else's hand up his ass. 
<laughs> that's probably a good note at which to end this first episode of our of our uh, year in reviews. That's the first half of 2023, all neatly wrapped up. Yeah. It's been a momentous year, hasn't it? it? Yeah, no, I think it's been it's been a mixed year. I, I think we're back to sort of like a year where it's not all bad. I mean, the cost of living, like second half of the year is definitely worse than the first half. We should do it like a topical podcast that talks about these issues, Charles. Nah, let's just do the half ass quarter ass research based podcast where we talk about AI. Every and, second episode. Right, well, let's, let's go on the downward spiral into the second half of 2023 in tomorrow's episode. Our gear is from Road. We're part of the Iconoclast Network. And Merry Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Not that you can afford presents. And, and just don't listen. If you're happy now, don't listen to tomorrow's episode.